Today, we're going to take a look at how to use the dashboard feature for the TrueSight presentation server. Let's get started. You can see that I've logged in as an administrator into my presentation server. And this is a relatively new installation, so I don't have any existing dashboards yet. So we're going to be creating the first dashboard. All we have to do is click the Add Dashboard button, and we will get a dialog screen that lets us configure this dashboard. The default template is a two row template that has one row with four small dashlet areas and a second row with just one. I'm going to simplify this for the purpose of this demonstration. We can do that by removing a row if we wish to. And in row one, I'm going to reduce it from four dashlet areas to two. So I'm going to hit edit and change it to two columns. And you can see there's lots of choices here in how you might want your dashboard to be laid out and what information you might want to include. I'm going to hit done, and that takes us back. The first thing I'm going to do is give it a title. My time period, I'm just going to leave it the default to two hours. I don't currently have any applications that are being monitored, so I'm not going to check the checkbox for applications. If I did, I could check that and select from the dropdown the different applications that I would want to focus on. In my first dashlet, the dashlets are the small kind of widgets that bring in certain data that's being collected by the presentation server. If I hit Add Dashlet, you can see the list of the very available dashlets that you can select from. Again, this is a new installation for me, so I don't have a lot of these in action right now. But after a little while, I will have pretty much all of these in use, and I could use any one of them for my custom dashboard. In this particular case, I know that I've configured the IT data analytics connectivity, so I'm going to choose that. When I do, you can see I get a little note that tells me that I need to configure it. I do that by clicking the gear icon, and now I have some choices. I can change my title. I can choose which ITDA server I want to uh, focus on. In my environment, I just have one. And then I can pick the safe search I want to report on. I know that I have an interesting safe search related to Apache. So I can narrow it down, and there's the one I'm curious about. I can select it. I can change the kind of summarization. I could, there's lots of different things I could do here, but I'm going to leave it the default for interval. And I can choose the chart type. Let's go ahead and hit apply. If I have any data available, it will automatically get populated. Let's go ahead and populate our second dashlet. Again, knowing the kinds of information that I have available, I'm going to choose one I know is there, and that's going to be a monitor's performance overview. Again, to configure this dashlet, I'm going to hit the gear icon. I'm going to leave it with a single metric analysis, although there are quite a few choices that you can do and lots of things that you can choose. I'm going to hit Add Monitor and True Sight, and I'm going to focus on the Windows process. I'd like to know how my HTTPD process is performing on my server. So all I do is pick that process and I hit done. Now I can choose what type of information I'd like to see on my graph. I think I'm going to use CPU usage. I'd like to see the uh, dynamic baseline for hourly and daily. And there's lots of other things that I could put as well. I can create a legend and put the device name and the monitor name. When I hit apply, if there's any data available, we'll see it in a chart right away. When I'm done, all I have to do is hit save. And I now have a live dashboard for my TrueSight presentation server. Very easy to do, very powerful feature. Thank you for watching.